So apologies on my last tutorial, I had to end it a little early, um, but <clears throat> like I was saying the next step is to kind of go down and create the nose area. So I'm just going to select these edges that are running down here, shift and drag this down, and again you know make sure you're lining stuff up in all the views. So if I just drag this forward so it's lined up with the front of the nose, go on my vertex tool and just kind of click and drag the bridge of the nose like so and then the top just kind of drag that out further like that now her face is at a bit of an angle because you can see her other eyebrow so I'm not going to go right the way out right the way out to here I'm just going to kind of pull this back a little bit to about there. Now what I need to do is weld this point to this one just here. So again I'm going to go down to target weld, click on this point and weld it to there. And again just create that kind of angular change because <coughs> not only will that help uh, make the flow lines look a lot better but you know the nose does actually go wider as it goes down doesn't it? You can see how nose goes wider. So you want to ensure that you are indeed making the nose wider. So I'm just doing a bit of adjusting. Okay, so um, again, just making sure that I'm changing the angle slightly. Can you see how I'm kind of making that wider? And again, just going to apply a smoothing group on this new area. I'm making sure it's smoothing group one because it will just blend in with with the rest of the face. Then, you see how that's working now. Before I kind of move down towards the nose just here, I'm going to create the cheek. I'm going to add a bit more detail and a bit more uh, depth on the cheek. So I'm just going to uh, hold control and select these three kind of cheek polys, I guess. And I'm just going to drag those out. See, I'm pulling them out in this view as well, and then pulling them in because you can see, so if I just move this out of the way, and I tend to do this, so don't worry if it looks really bad at this stage, I only do that so I can see the way that the cheek should go, and then I can just press Control Z and it'll undo it. So there is going to be a curve like that. So that looks fine, just maybe pull that out a little bit more, so it emphasizes the cheek a little more. So it looks a bit odd at the minute, but again, like I said, don't worry too much. Everything will be fine. <clears throat> I'm then just going to move on to the side. So I'm going to kind of drag this out further. But of course, as I go further, I need to kind of <laughs> change this point to a little bit more flatter of a shape. I don't want it to be so pointy. The only reason it was pointy to start with is because the eye, um, because the eye was there and the angle of the eye determined the the kind of angle of of this of these two edges, so I can kind of start to flatten that out now. Start to straighten it out 